and welcome back to my happy place. Um, there we go. It's uh, warm and tranquil. Bit of wind, bit of blustery wind, but a relatively tranquil morning. And it's a very early morning, as you've just seen. The sun is just creeping above the trees. Uh, but this is definitely the calm before the storm. So um, down in uh, tropical Essex in the UK, um, we have got a serious band of weather coming our way. So uh, as you can probably see, I've got the, uh, the waterproofs on. Um, so I'm expecting within the next two or three hours to get wet. Uh, but let's just hope we get away with it. Um, if we don't, I'm, I'm well prepared. Uh, I'm also sporting, you'll see, uh, a new wind mic or a new wind mic setup, a bit of a retro fit, shall we say. Um, the, my previous videos, the, the microphone I bought was just not doing the job in the wind. So uh, uh, if this works, it'll be a huge thank you to the lovely Ash from the Southern Searcher, uh, who gave me a tip on, the, on a retro fit. Uh, if it doesn't work, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll think again. So without further ado, let's crack on before the rains come and I'll see you on the first hole. There you go, very first signal of the day. Nice high tone, up in the 50s. Let's see what we got. Well, we're out. And the tone didn't change by much, so uh, let's see if we can find it. Oh, up in there. Put that back. <laughs> what a start. It's a bit of a crotal bell. <laughs> this is getting silly, isn't it? Unbelievable. Well, you saw it happen. There you go. Oh, I stopped finding whole ones, though, which is a bit annoying. But beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Yeah, definitely a bit of crotal bell. You can uh, call that a mile off. Excellent. Well, that's a good start. Promising. Let's crack on. Next one. Uh, it was a lovely 66, 67. Uh, I've only been here about 20 minutes. This is my third third hole. Um, should also mention, uh, I'm on the D-Tech coil, 13-inch coil again, which you will have seen by now. Uh, and I'm on field mode, um, auto ground balanced, um, and loving it, got to be said. Anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so 66, 67, and I think we might have our first coin of the day. Yeah, we certainly have. Yeah, we certainly have. And a half penny size, I'd say. Not looking like there's much there, but we never know. Let's give her a clean back in a sec. Yeah, it's a Georgia third, I think. You can just about see his bust facing right. I think you might even be able to see the one, two, three there. Uh, but I might be dreaming it. Yeah, pretty toasted though as they all tend to be, don't they? Still, it's a coin, I'm well happy with that. Let's crack on. Next one, it's been a quiet 40 minutes or so actually, and as you can probably tell from my surroundings, uh, the wind and the rain have arrived. Well, the wind's always been here, but the rain has now arrived. But that's to be expected, so we shall persevere. Uh, next one is my old friend, the four hole button, a pretty nagged one. Coming up in the 40s, uh, good tone, so worth a dig, but a button. Moving on. Next one, as you can probably see, was literally, I didn't need my, uh, my shovel at all. It was literally under the surface, 68, 69. Uh, so it's singing all the right songs. And it looks very green, it looks very penny-like from here. Quite big, coin-like, or is it a button? Let's have a look. Oh, it's bent, whatever it is. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's a right shame. Oh, well. Uh, not sure. Right, okay. Let's give it a quick squirt. Back in a sec. Yeah, I don't know about you, but that looks very much like a button. A little shank-ish. And whatever it is, it's blank anyway. So, uh, a non-event. But there you go. Another find. Carrying on. Right, so we've, uh, we've finished the pea field um, for this year anyway. So I've um, kind of been up and down it, pretty much all over it, as far as I can tell. Uh, and we've had that lovely George Silver off it and a few other coins and bits and bobs. 
Um, so yeah, happy with that. Um, so I thought I'd have a little mooch around and see what else I could find. And I found that the Tudor field uh, no longer has cattle on it. Um, so the farmer has moved the cattle away somewhere else. Um, it's been pretty much laid to pasture though, so it's not been not being cultivated yet. So still a bit stubbly, still a bit grassy, uh, but we'll give it a go. Anyway, first find, uh, which obviously was something once upon a time, is a gnarly, bobbly bit of metal or whatever that is. It kind of looks bronzy, doesn't it? But it also looks a bit rusty as well. Anyway, yeah, let's crack on. Right, this one's more of a test, actually. Um, I found a button, okay? Nice little button. But I'm facing the wind and it is blowing a gale, so just out of curiosity, really, to see what the, uh, the wind noise is like. Cool, button, moving on. All right, just gonna have a coffee break now. <clears throat> Before I do, just thought I'd dig one more. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, up in the, uh, well, it was all over the place, quite frankly. Um, and I know it's going to be a little pistol shot, isn't it? Which, again, never, never going to be bothered and worried about finding those. Yeah, pretty gnarly one by the looks of it again. Word of the day, gnarly. Yep, cool, let's have a coffee. See you in a bit. Well, didn't last long in the uh, in the Tudor field. I had a swing through it and then had a coffee. Um, and then the farmer came on it to do some bits or whatever he was up to. So I thought I'd get out of his way. Uh, peered over the fence and the sheep are all gone from the sheep's pasture. Paddock or whatever you want to call it. So, um, yeah. And it's not terrible in terms of uh, length of grass. So uh, this is where I found many, many months ago that little silver dress stud thing with the lovely stone in it. I thought I'd chuck myself back in here for an hour or two. And I found my very first find up in the 50s, early 60s, is a little coggy thing off a clock or whatever. Yeah, nice. Pretty cool, that. Let's move on. Right, another cracking tone up in the 70s. Uh, 71, 72 again, which is um, always good territory, isn't it? Let's see if we can find it. A bit of tile there. All right, let's have a look. Getting close. Where are you? Ay, ay, ay. Curse of the live reveal. Curse of the live reveal. Here we go. Bit of copper nothingness. Oh. Okay, keep going. Well, this, this field excites me actually, this little pasture, because the soil is so much different. It's proper soil. It's not as stony as the, the main fields. Um, obviously I've found stuff. I know that where, where that um, tree line is over there is uh, the site of an old residence. So there's domestic stuff in here. It, it feels different. Um, but there's also lots of history in here. I found, found a few bits of lead already, including this whacking great piece. Lovely signal and tone, as you'd imagine. Um, yeah, flat edge and kind of mangled on the top. So that's either a weight, just a nondescript blob, or that's a very, very big shell of something that's hit something very hard. But yeah, not sure. Massive though. It'll go in the scrap pot. Cool. Let's keep going. Right, next one was a cracking tone up in the 80s. And uh, it was there, so I've just been pinpointing and I saw it fall out as I was pinpointing and it's in there. So, uh, yep. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a coin, all right. Is it going to be blank or is it going to be something on it? Back in a sec. Well, actually, no, let's just leave you here. Let's leave you here. We'll do it together. Hang on a sec. Let's just put the tripod out. And we'll look at it together, shall we? Right. Mm, already feeling 
quite blank, I think. Hmm, can we see anything? Let's have a look. Hmm. There might be a bus there, is there? I think there might be something there. I think we might be able to get something up from that. Back at the ranch. But not so much that we're going to find it now. Cool. Farthing size, anyway. Excellent. Let's keep going. <clears throat> okay, next one. Cracking tone, as you'd imagine. Is that? Go on in. <laughs> um, is it a funnel? Is it a little copper funnel, maybe? Looks like it's got a hole in the bottom. Uh, it's been flattened, obviously. Maybe that is a crease. So maybe when you open it up, it's something completely different. But it feels like a, you know cone-shaped thing whether that's a funnel or whether it stood up or what I don't know but very interesting any ideas let me know below cool cracking on another cracking tone uh, missed it as you can see it was in the side wall and it's popped out and it's another coin yeah so definitely it's an interesting feel this I'm gonna find plenty of coins on here I think um, but by the looks of that, pretty crusty again. Okay, I'm going to assume that's crusty. If I'll give it a clean. If there's anything there, um, you'll see it again. If not, you'll see it at the roundup. Cool. See you in a bit. Absolute target fest in this field. Absolute target fest. Right, the next one is there in the middle. Uh, in the 50s. Looks lead-like and it looks lead-weight-like. Yeah. Oh, throws it straight out of his hand. Yeah, that's what that is, isn't it? A little weight. Yeah, very cool. Never going to get bored of getting them either. Excellent. Yeah, always very hard to date, aren't they? But uh, yeah, little volcano shaped one. Cool. Excellent. Happy with that. Let's move on. The next one, which was literally two minutes after that lovely little lead weight, was an absolute fair and square 67 all the way round back and forward about four inches down and i've turned the clod over and that is what i can see haven't even touched it so that looks pretty interesting to me it looks star shaped from here um so i thought we'd look at it together so uh, let's see what we've got oh yeah yeah that is lovely it's definitely star sh flower shaped, I should say. Now it's come out. Yeah, that's a little furniture fixing or something like that, I reckon, isn't it? Don't think it's horsey. I think it's more furniture kind of domestic y to me. But that is that's gorgeous. I'm going to give that a little clean up actually. I think that'll come up quite nice. I'll be back in a sec. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. It's some sort of flower obviously and it's got like a closed bud in the middle so if you know your flower Cynthia you know your flowers don't you any ideas what kind of flower that is either way it's absolutely beautiful I am thrilled with that right let's move on see you in a bit well these finds certainly keep getting cooler <laughs> look at that look at that that is very cool that to me looks like a very fancy lock plate does it to you See, the key would have gone in there and then maybe something else went in there, I don't know. A uh, loop or something for a bolt, I don't know. Yeah, that's fancy, that, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. A lot. Cool. That's not a million miles. Uh, it's only about three or four sw um, swipes away from that lovely um, flower thing. So, uh, yeah, domestic again. Very cool. I like that a lot. Not sure if you can see that through the uh, through those trees, but it's absolutely. I'm standing in the sunshine. It's actually quite warm. But it's at, it's it's persisting down, shall we say? Um, I can actually see the rain, um, and obviously that's a very grumpy, grumpy cloud as well. So 
Looks like I might get wet again in a minute. So uh, anyway, nearly another time for another coffee, I think. Cool. Well, it's very interesting. It's proper thin. Um, yeah, proper thin. Definitely some markings on that side. Don't see a shank and appears to be, if you can see it, if it'll focus in, a little bit, some markings on there as well, just above my thumb there, look. Yeah, okay, not sure. If you've got any ideas, let me know. I might clean up when I get home. It's, co it's a coin, I'm sure of it. Just very, very thin and very, very toasted. Cool, have a coffee before that rain suddenly hits me. Right, had a coffee. Uh, then I had a swing down by the main road, because uh, this field does lead onto a main road. It's very, very trashy, so I've come away from there again. So I'm back up the other end. Um, first decent signal, I've had a couple of bits of lead and a button or two. Uh, this one was 87, 88, and I can see a little green ring, uh, rim poking out, just about there. So uh, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, it's another coin, but I think it might be. And where's all the silver coins gone, man? <laughs> oh well, I'll give that a clean. There might be something on that one actually. I'll just give it a quick clean, but um, yeah, I think it's probably toasted again. So the rain's arrived. <laughs> Oh my days, it's coming down now. They did say it was going to, and they were right. So that's pretty much it for me, I think. Uh, just come off the, the sheep's field. I'm now gonna head back, having a very quick swing through the Tudor field, and then I'm out of here. So unless I find anything spectacular, I'll see you on the roundup. Thanks as always, it's been cool. See you soon. Right, welcome to the roundup. Um, it was a turned out to be quite an interesting day in the end. It was a, a bit of a target fest. Um, as you can see, quite a lot um, to, to look at. And so I'll try and be reasonably brief. Um, well, down, down in Cat Corner, as always, uh, just kind of nondescript bits and bobs, including this little funnily thing. Still none the wiser with that. Uh, but it obviously has got a cut through it, so I presume perhaps it wasn't meant to hold any fl fluids or anything like that. Uh, and also an interesting little um, chassis of a, a French uh, vehicle of some description. I guess we'll never know. Tons of lead, including this whacking great piece, which I didn't film. Huge. Um, that was that little bit I found on the Tudor field. Again, not quite sure what that on earth where that would have been. Um, naily bits, a little um, ball ring. Uh, that's that huge blob of lead. Um, I wonder whether that is a some sort of piece of ammo that's hit something flat or it's a weight. I don't know. Another little interesting bit of lead. Again, possibly a little token or something like that. Um, then moving on to the top two la layers. This is really cool. Um, yeah, very fancy. I think that is probably off a, a very big, impressive door, I would imagine. And I would assume that's um, that went over the top of the... The key lock, uh, the keyhole, I should say. A um, few nondescript buttons. Little coggy thing. This little thing, absolutely gorgeous. Really, really love that. I presume that is more furniture fixing than anything else. But again, uh, really, really pretty. I, I like that a lot. Yeah, it seems to be finding shards of crotal bell at the moment rather than whole ones. Uh, but another little bit, so that's that's okay. We don't mind that. Little pistol shot. Um, very white pot mend. Um, as I think I mentioned on the video, I don't find many of those, so that's pretty cool. Another little, oops, sorry, chopped it on the thing. Another little weighty bit, little kind of volcano shape, nice and white as well. Uh, come back to this one in a second. Um, yeah, little wafer thin. I don't think I filmed this one. Little wafer thin thing, which I think is possibly a coin, but very thin. Not sure. Didn't film this one either. That, um, with all that rain, as I was running off the field, I, I found this in the ladybird. Um, and that is gorgeous. Look at that. That has come up so well with a light clean. Uh, and I think it's, um, yeah, it's another, obviously, a, a, 
a naval button, but with the, the kind of eagle or whatever over the top. Is it the TN or NTYC? So it'll be something Yacht Club on the right here. And then TN or NT. Um, and obviously the anchor with the rope. So yeah, love that. Really cool. And then pretty much some blank coins. Um, that was the only one that I could get any kind of bust off. And I think that's a George the Third. The rest are pretty blank. Uh, and then last but by no means least. And I'll leave a proper picture of this um, after the roundup. So if you do get a chance to just sit tight and and look at it um yeah it's obviously some sort of token i think it's really thin you know jetany tokeny kind of thing and it's got some writing on it and i thought at one at first it might be his half penny but obviously the writing doesn't match that at all um so and i've i think i've seen this somewhere but i don't know where so if that rings a bell or strikes a chord with you and you know what that says or what it would say uh, not a lot underneath although i think you can see the remnants of a design um yeah i'd be interested to know um so that's it from me i'm hopefully going to get out again uh pretty quickly uh, it's going to be a little window of decent weather so we're uh, going to try and get down and uh, hopefully start seeing some of those fields cultivated where that's all still stubble at the moment so yep yeah, that's it um a pretty productive hunt that one and some really cool bits uh, with a couple to go in the cabinet which is always a good sign so thanks as always stay cool uh, and i'll see you on the next one